Here to give his take on what's next for stocks is Jim McCaugan, CEO of Principal Global Investors. It has $281 billion in assets under management. Welcome. Good to have you with us, Mr. McCaugan. Good to be here, Tyler. Uh, you know, the last time the Dow was as high as it is today, the multiple, the uh, price earnings ratio on stocks was much higher than it is today. Does that give you any comfort that equities can move up from even these lofty levels? Yeah, I feel that the market, that equities will move higher between now and the year end. I think it's not just the multiples because, uh, you know, multiples give you some comfort, valuations give you some comfort, but valuation doesn't drive markets. You need the sentiment too. And, but it's when you get modest valuations and improving sentiment, improving fundamentals, that I think the market can do pretty well. And I would point to a number of real positives for the U.S. right now. We have the uh, cheapest and most plentiful energy in the world. We have a record of innovation and productivity in business. And lastly, but not least, the housing market at last is recovering and uh, will be a positive contributor to business growth and economic growth in 2013. If you add this all up with the money on the sidelines, I think that although it could be bumpy, the market will most likely end the year higher than it stands right now. You know, you can't really separate, I suppose, the uh, monetary stimulus that has been injected into the system from the, from the idea that corporate profits are moving higher. Do you worry at all about two things getting taken out of the system? One would be some of the uh, federal spending cuts that may come on stream here o over the next few months. And number two, the idea that maybe at some point uh, the Federal Reserve pulls back uh, on the aggressive bond buying program uh, that has helped uh, raise asset prices. Yeah. No, there's no... There's no question those two are among the, the negatives. You know, the, if there's a negative for the market and if there's a buying opportunity between now and year end, it'll come either from Washington or from Europe with the uh, European debt crisis. The Italian election was a negative for the market very mm -hmm. briefly last week. But if I look at Washington and the, the specific points you mentioned, Tyler, I think the Federal Reserve is gearing up for a situation where they will reduce the bond buying at a point where the unemployment rate is more normal. Six and a half percent they've talked about as being the main review point. I think there's a good chance they get there. And I think that at that point, the Fed will be declaring victory. So I don't think the Fed is suddenly going to put the economy or the market in, re in reverse. Very quickly, you know, I was speaking earlier today to a market analyst who pointed out that among the 10 S&P 500 sectors, only four are actually higher than they were back in the, the fall of 2007. And he suggested that that means there's plenty of value in some of the sectors that aren't higher. Do you agree with that idea? If you're selective about it, Tyler, I certainly do. Um, you know, I'd point, for example, to technology, which is certainly not back at the highs. Uh, you could look at the winners there, including a Google or an IBM against some of the losers, notably Hewlett Packard. Uh, I think selectively in technology, you're going to do quite well. I think, though, that banks are not back to the previous peaks. I think you've got to be wary there because the profitability mm -hmm. of banks will be adversely impacted by um, Dodd-Frank and the increased financial regulation. So uh, valuations, yes, they're modest and, uh, you know, they're not back to the heady peaks of the previous uh, peak. But uh, I think you've got to be selective and uh, professional management is something every investor should be going after. All right, Jim McCaugan, uh, be choosy is the basic bottom line there. We appreciate it. Jim is the CEO of Principal Global Investors. Thanks for joining us.